And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. I was kind of busy. This is bad, Kenny. This is so bad. No, oh, it's, it's going to be fine. You know, these things happen. Kenny, our child saw us having sex in the kitchen. I told you we should have gone back upstairs to the bedroom. Yeah, but you said it with your tongue in my ear. Look, look, I, I'll talk to the boy and make sure everything's cool. All right? I guess. Okay. This is awful. This is really not good, baby. Yeah. Right side up, turn it around. Fold it up, turn to your left. Okay, turn to your left. Hold it up, we'll point it to us. Legally, you were drunk. I was not drunk. I stopped at a red light and realized I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. So, so when I when I when I pulled it shut, that's when I weaved, and, and, and that's all that happened. You know enough about the law to know that, that constitutes probable cause. You know, just once, I like to see you resist switching into lawyer mode when we're having a conversation. Just once. Well, right now you need my lawyer mode. Okay. I'll call Bob Wayne in the morning. See if he'll help. What? What? What's wrong with that? <laughs> I don't need a criminal lawyer. Screw this. Especially the one who's been sniffing around you ever since he met you. Don't think I didn't see that. Fine. Tell your father what happened. Ask him to get you an attorney. You know I can't tell the judge about this. No, you can't, can you? That's a hell of an idea. Okay, take care. All right, thank you. Thank you. 
Congratulations, miracle worker. Thanks. It looks like I'm not your only fan. Oh. These nice. just came for you. You want them in your dressing room? Actually, no, I'll take them. Okay. Beautiful. Is three o'clock good for our meeting? Three thirty is better. Perfect. Oh, she did such a good job. She's very easy. I know she's. Uh, we need to shoot those fall promos in about ten minutes. Okay. All right. Yeah, great. The other one now. Damon Carter. Shh. Hey, <laughs> Dad. Well, how you doing, son? <sighs> About time you show up around here. All I needed was an invitation, which I'm still waiting for. Well, uh, wait no more. <laughs> You're here. Let me show you around. Uh... There's a chance we can get a false positive declared on your breathalyzer. I already have someone investigating whether or not your field sobriety test was properly administered. If it wasn't, Damn. we can have it thrown out. Well, uh, no, I can't believe you, you, you found out so fast. So this is where you tell me uh, I'm not worthy of the Carter name? That compared to my brother and sister who both went to Harvard Law, I've disappointed you once again? I'm proud of all three of my children. Since when? I did not come here to argue with you, Damon. Am I disappointed? Of course I am. But you are my son. You're in trouble and I want to help. No ulterior motive. So I guess I should say thank you. Yeah, you should. <coughs> thank you. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll fix this. talk to you. How long has it been? Three, four months? You know, when I was your teacher, and you were my favorite pupil, and I gave you flowers, you had a special way of saying thanks. Still the best head I ever got. Get the fuck away from me. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Still the big cat. Oh, and you're still my favorite mouse. For the flowers. Son, cleaning your room, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks like you're doing a good job, too. <laughs> well, it's not rocket science, Dad. Oh, well. Yeah. I guess it isn't. <laughs> How was school? Fine. Please don't mention last night. You know, Ma. About what you uh, you saw last night. The only thing worse than seeing your parents doing it is being forced to talk about it. Uh, you know, your your mother and I, we uh, we, uh sit down. We got carried away. <clears throat> you know, we we really miss each other. Shaking the image of my parents getting busy is hard enough. 
No way I'm talking about it. Um, uh, you know what, Dad? Uh, I have to do some English homework. Really? Uh, yeah. It's due tomorrow, so I should get right on it. Uh, right now. Before dinner. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah sure, sure, sure. <laughs> That's, that's, that's good. What you doing here? It's kind of... Yeah, well, you gotta get on it. Next time I want a glass of water in the middle of the night? No, I'm on. You're a good kid. I'm drinking from the bathroom sink. supposed to start. Lem doesn't know anything about my past with this guy. So you're gonna keep protecting that freak? Look, if Lem were to find out anything about this, he would kill Michael. Plain and simple. And I'm not gonna be responsible for my husband going back to prison. Then tell your sisters, the police, somebody. But look, Eva, I appreciate everything you've done for me. But the best way for you to help me out right now is to just stay out of it. I don't think I can do that. Well, I think you're going to have to try. Oh, God. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm a nervous wreck. OK, and I just need to figure out a way that I can figure this out on my own. OK. As your friend, I have to accept that. Thank you. For now. But if I feel like you're in any danger, Tracy, I'm gonna tell somebody. Listen, I just, I just wanna lay down. If you don't mind. Okay. Okay. Well, let me help you. Okay. Thanks. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Trace. I can't believe that bastard tried to attack me. Looks like he did more than try. Ow. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This might help. Yeah. walking so slowly. Don't tell me you're working out again. Oh, yeah, well, my butt is getting a little big. So. Oh, please. Terry, I've been thinking about getting a restraining order against Michael King. What happened? Nothing. I just, I think it'll be a good idea. Well, I told you that when that insane jerk was sending you flowers. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. OK, thanks. Damon! Yeah. Come here. Right here. This is... This? Yeah. It's delicious. What? I hope you're hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, this is hot. Come on, let's eat. Freeze, young man. You sure you're supposed to be drinking that? <laughs> I'm innocent, sir. I'm innocent. <laughs> <laughs> On the real, man. Sorry to hear about your run-in with uh, Chicago's finest. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, hand me one of those. Well, uh, welcome to my world. <laughs> you see a brother riding around in a halfway decent car, and they're going to stop you. That's straight racial profiling shit. I hear you. Thank God my dad said he'd take care of it. <laughs> That's the only way to handle those fools. I kind of walked in at the end of that. Was your father taken care of? That ridiculous DUI charge. When did that happen? Today. I was, I was going to tell I you. I thought you didn't even want your father to know about this. 
I didn't want your family to know about it either. Oh. I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. It's cool. Anyway, my dad made it difficult not to accept his help. <clears throat> I don't know. No lecture. No, I told you so. Hmm. I was like... Well, I'm glad Walter was there for you. I bet it felt pretty good. I felt kind of weird having to support. I'm just not used to it. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, it's my pleasure. What, you've been my future daughter-in-law for, what, three months now? And it's the first time we've had a chance to sit down together, just me and you. It's great. Yeah, I feel the same way. <laughs> May I get you something? Yes, uh, I'll have a cup of coffee and a blueberry muffin. All right. <laughs> That's it? Just a blueberry muffin? Have you seen a blueberry muffin? Oh, no, girl. <laughs> I love this place. It's fabulous. Oh, yeah. Since you know about the DUI, I thought we could talk about it without me feeling like I'm ratting out my fiancé. Of course, go ahead. Ever since he got the big job at CGR, Damon's been drinking more. He's been hanging out more. Um, I guess trying to make all those crazy athletes feel like he's one of the well, guys. You know, my son chose a crazy profession. Well, he seems stressed to me. Although, he, you know, he says he's happy. CGR is exactly where I want to be. <laughs> I noticed at dinner yesterday, like most days now. He finished off a few beers and a whole bottle of wine by himself. Walter, I guess just, this is just my long-winded way of saying that you're not worried, I'm not gonna worry. And I'm assuming that if you were worried, you wouldn't have fixed the DUI. Terry, I'm a father. I do what I have to do to protect my children. Protecting Damon is one thing, but Hiding the possibility that he has a problem is another. You know, I'm glad, proud even, that Damon picked you as a partner. I couldn't think of anyone better. But, yeah, I've raised two lawyers and a sports agent, and they're all doing well, so I think I'm doing something right. Having a successful career doesn't equal a successful life. Can I ask you something? Yes. Does Damon ever discuss his real mother? Oh. Not in very much detail. I'm not surprised. She was an alcoholic. I watched her deteriorate. In and out of clinics. Every time she got out, I think, well, that's it. It's over. Then she starts to lose weight. His blood. I didn't let that disease ruin my children's life then, and I will not let it ruin my son's future now. Well, if Damon has an addiction, he needs help. Whatever it takes. And maybe we should ask ourselves what it is that's making him drink in the first place. Yes, maybe we should ask ourselves that question. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to go. I, uh, I don't have quite as much time as I thought I did. You, you enjoy your muffin. Here's your coffee and blueberry muffin. There you go. Anything else? Just the check, please. Come on, El Torres. It's the matter, wimp. Which way am I gonna go? Man, you're not going nowhere. Right. 
Yes, 21, I finally beat you. Don't tell me you let me win. You let me win. Can you imagine your parents, you know, doing it? Man. Oh, yuck. Don't do that, man. That's totally gross. Well, I walked in on my parents doing it on the kitchen counter. I mean, right while I ate my breakfast. You saw? Like, everything? Yeah. I mean, I know about the eggs and the sperm and the fertilization, but I mean, do I really have to see that? Yeah. I know exactly what you mean. I mean, and now both of them are trying to talk to me about it like it was some live action health day class. Once I uh, saw my dad kissing my mom's tit, I still have thoughts about it. You know, I just hope I never, ever have to see anything like that again. And you shouldn't have to. Your parents want to talk to you about the eggs and little Mikeys and stuff, but you don't want to hear that, and you should tell them. Because if you don't, then the pictures keep on coming back into your head. No matter what you do, you keep on seeing them. And then all you want to do is see them, even though you're not supposed Mike, to. Mike, trust me. I don't want to keep seeing them. Hey, you guys ready? I told your parents you'd be home for dinner. Can we take the toll? Yeah, come on. I'm going to get this out of the way once and for all. Tell her how they need to act like normal people. Mom! What are you doing? Oh, just taking a little nap. <sighs> Where's Kelly and Brooke? At Mrs. Jenkins for a little while. You hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dad, I know you're in the closet. Oh, hey, son. What you think? I don't believe this. No way is sex that good. I thought you said Lynn wasn't going to bring him home for another couple hours. It's been a couple of hours, Kim. What do you think? I think that was some good sleep acting you did. What's I supposed to do? What was that? You hungry? What was that supposed to mean? So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. On time, please. We'll have people waiting up there for you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Good night. intruder in my shop. I've asked him to leave, and he won't. You didn't ask me nicely. Yes, I'm, I'm at the um, Cle Crescent Place Shopping Center. With the love of my life? No. They told me to tell you the police are coming, so you better leave now. I love you, Tracy. He's about 5'11". He's African-American. He, he has a mustache. Dark, dark blue jacket. I don't, I don't know. It's black. Okay. He's leaving. Yeah, he's gone. But can you tell them to hurry up, please? Well, I'm here alone. No, I'm okay. I'm just I'm scared. Mm. Huh? Taste this. Uh. 
What is this? Oh. Gravy. Oh. Bird gave me the recipe. No. You like it, huh? Oh. You don't like it? Mm. Mm, no, but wait. Maybe it needs more yogurt. No, maybe it needs another recipe. <laughs> I had breakfast with your father this morning. No, why would you do that to yourself? Because, you know, the more I think about it, the more I'm not sure that fixing the DUI was the right thing to do. Well, you know, those breathalyzers can be off. He told me about your mother. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> just, just didn't. Do you want to talk about it now? Uh, not really. <laughs> the past is the past. The past is the past. Damon. I think you have a problem, Damon. Your new job has you working 18 hours a day. Your boss is putting pressure on you to do more, no matter how much you do. And, and my fiance doesn't believe me when I tell her I don't have a damn problem. <sighs> Man. Baby, look. <clears throat> do me a favor. Go to an AA meeting. What? No. What? Just see what it's about. Why would I do that? Because you love me? <clears throat> because I love you? Because we're going to be a part of each other's lives forever. All right. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> for you, because forever is a long time for you to worry about me, I'll go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. But now you got to taste my grape. No. Did you add more yogurt? Come on. How about I, I, I'll check on the ribs. I'm so sorry to put you through this. Now, my sister's trying to rush the restraining order. Good, but please don't apologize anymore. I'm here, and so is he, as long as you need us, OK? Thank you so much. See you next week. OK. OK. to anybody even though i was drunk i mean i mean i wasn't drunk it, I, I was drinking every day it wasn't like i was robbing old ladies and stealing things and living in trash cans i told myself i was fine i had a job a nice car a house the american dream then the duis took my car in the blackouts, I couldn't remember anything, appointments, deadlines, conversations, nothing. I lost my house six weeks ago. Now, who would like to share next? Hi. My name is Paulina. Hi, Paulina. Hi, I'm an alcoholic. I just moved here from Milwaukee. Um, I started drinking right after I got into law school. That hangovers and law review class didn't exactly mix. After I flunked out, I started drinking and partying all the time. I, I just couldn't stand to think about how much I had screwed up. I was in this bar one night talking to this guy that I'd met 
He was cute. I thought he was really nice. And uh, we got drunk. In the morning, I woke up in my car with a bunch of used condoms in my lap and a thank you note. A goddamn thank you note. So, you enjoying your homework? Uh, yeah. It's great. Correction. The only thing worse than catching your parents doing it is catching them twice, and both of them trying to talk to you about it. Great. Because I, I want to talk to you about what you saw. What I saw again? Yeah. yeah um... Okay, I can't argue with you there. Listen, Ahmad, I know you're not a baby, and you know about sex. But what you saw was not just sex. That's it. I'm officially in hell. See, your dad and I love each other. Look, Mom, it's okay. No, 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 no. I really want to explain this to you, Ahmad. Now, when people love each other... I can't listen they, to this. They, is that Brooke? No, no, I think it's just the radio upstairs. No, uh, no, Mom, I think that's Brooke. You, you know, I better go see. She might need to be changed. Will you? I don't have to go. All right, we're gonna let this sit for five, and then we'll rinse you. Okay. Okay. You need anything? It's okay, thanks. Right. Why are you so jumpy? I'm not. It's just, it's late, and I didn't hear you come in. What are you doing here? I came by to check on you. I'm on my dinner break. I thought about come by and, and take out my wife to dinner. Well, I can't. I'm, I'm busy. I, I, I got kind of backed up. Hi. Hi. I, I just, I, I just been tripping, you know? I mean, I'm worrying about you. Why? I don't know exactly. I mean, you've been quiet. We haven't made love in over a week. I believe that's the record, right? Well, I'm... Come here. I'm, I'm just tired, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm overworked. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Well, look, man. Why don't you finish up here, yeah. right? And I'll go get some pizza and I'll come back and, and wait for you. Okay. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I'd like that. Right. So I'm, I'm going to go call Al and ask him to cover for me for another hour. I mean, you know, he's okay. always looking for overtime. Okay. Right? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, baby, I'm fine. I love you. I love you, too. Okay. This is the VIP room. It's like a scene from a bad rap video. Go find I guess coming back here will be worth it as long as I get to meet Benny Jones. I'll shake his hand and let him know I play a little ball myself. Hey, good Hey, what's up, Damon? What's up? All right. Mm. Hey, what's up? What's up? You just missed him. Ah, you just left. Benny Jones was here? 
Yeah, he came in for a second. I had to leave to handle some business. Benny Jones left the building. Sorry, man. Oh, hey, hey. Uh, thanks for the tickets. Our seats were dope. And hey, you know, Kobe gave me a high five after he crashed his three. Kobe? Yeah. You're not supposed to shake hands with the enemy. Are you crazy? <laughs> You're the Chicago Windstorm fan, fool. Yeah, well, too bad they couldn't pull it out, huh? Hey, Shaq's a monster. God damn, did you see him back down? I do. Uh, hey, yeah, he, yeah, he, I took the hey, hey. I was like, what? <laughs> Seven foot two? You guys want something to drink? Uh, nah, you know, I think I'm cool. I'm fine. You sure? You too? All right, let me get a beer real quick. <sighs> so this is how the big ballers do it, huh? Yeah, well, the ballers sit on the floor where he was sitting. I just didn't want to sit down there and have somebody's big old head <laughs> in front of me. Your dad is good. Yeah, well, we uh, just want to stop by and say thanks for the tickets, man. All right, man. No problem, brother-in-law. Hey, why you got to leave so soon? Man, oh, Maxine's got you in lockdown. That's right, my bad. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Uh, so the dude, the dude has his pants down to his, to, to his feet, right? And I'm like, what are you doing? <sighs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, all right. All right. Good work, man. Hello? Man, I'll be right there. Just sit tight. I need to take the truck out. All right. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Is that love? No. No. I can't believe that piece of shit put his hands on you. I wish I could get my hands on that insane asshole. Or at least watch Lem get a hold of him. T, you promised. Now, you know I can't have my husband. It's okay. I'm not going to say anything, because I know Lem would kill him. You better Lem kill him than he kill you. Thank you. Eva, you don't know Lem, OK? He would do it. And then where would Bert and her child be? Why are you jumping all on Eva? If it weren't for her, that monster probably would have raped her. I'm not jumping on anyone. I'm just saying I think I know my own brother-in-law. Okay, okay. Oh, cut it out. This is exactly why I didn't want to tell you. Well, I'm glad you did. Yes. I gave the police my investigator's entire file on that pervert. The bottom line is the restraining order is now in effect. Well, how's she supposed to keep that from them? I can't. I can't. Can I? I'm gonna have to tell my husband that my old algebra teacher, who, by the way, when I was in high school, I slept with, tried to rape me two days ago and is now stalking me? Well, we just better hope that Michael King gets locked up before Lynn finds out about this. Oh, God, I can't. I gotta go. <sighs> Tracy, everything's gonna be okay. And I promise I will be here for you no matter what, okay? Okay. Well, why don't we uh, go get some cappuccinos before Lim comes home? All right, sounds All right. good. I'm gonna go get my bag. Okay. Good night. Good night. Terry. Tell Tracy I'll call and check on her tomorrow. Sure. Okay. I'll see you later, okay? Of course, Eva. Thank you for everything. Thanks for coming, man. Hey, nothing. What happened? Oh, I just, I just came around the corner, swerved to Mrs. Dog, ended up in the ditch. Huh. 
What do you know? There goes my racial profile in theory. What's that supposed to mean? Well, first Terry tells us some bullshit story about your seatbelt. Now you're following up that story with even more bullshit. What? <laughs> Come on, man. A dog in the road? Who did he eat your homework to? But that's what happened. He, oh, he that's just jumped bullshit. The... All right, this is the second time this week you had a problem behind that wheel. Shit just got real serious for you, man. Trust. I know. I know I got to fix this. Hey. Just, look, promise me you won't tell Terry. What? Yeah, don't. She finds that I came down here and I picked you up? That's my ass. I'm just asking you to be there for me. <sighs> when you were in trouble, I was there for you. You know, I was wondering how long it was going to take for you to bring that up. I'm sorry, man, but I need your help here. Look, it's not gonna happen again. I give you my word. Fuck your word, bruh. I gotta look out for my sister-in-law. But I mean, as you just reminded me, when I was locked up, you and your father helped clear me, so I owe you. I really appreciate it. Well, you just use your get-out-of-jail-free card. Another fuck up and Terry's gonna get an earful. I hear you. Now let me get this truck out of this so I can get home. Right. Keep moving. Come from. I was just about to ask you the same question. They were on the porch when I got here. The card says to mouse from the big cat. Hey, Bert forgot his jacket. You knew about this shit too? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Who you fucking around with, Bert? I'm not nobody. Let me. I ask you a question. Let I... him. She is not having an affair, okay? This man is stalking her. I did everything to get him to leave me. He wouldn't. Who? Well, let, let her explain. Say something, okay, Bert. Okay, okay. Re remember the guy a long time ago? We met him on the street. We, we ran into this guy, my, my teacher, right? He was my high school algebra teacher. Well, we, 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 we were together in school. <laughs> What's his name? No, Lim, I already spoke to the police, okay? I, I gave them a file this thick on this creep. He, 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 he has a history of preying on young girls. A history? Right, okay. What? Hey, where is he it's going? Okay. It's okay, we're gonna keep him in this house. Lim! When did those get here? I don't know, they were here when I got home. Terry, I was gonna tell him, I swear to God, when I got home, but they were already here. We're just gonna keep him here. Listen to me, we're gonna keep him here, okay? Okay. Terry, Terry, I know, but... Michael here. King, that him? Baby, you cannot do this. Watch me. Baby, listen, Terry, talk no. to him. Jesus Terry, get out of my way. No. Terry, Let move. The Chicago police get out of my are way. be there, OK? And if you even think about doing anything, they will throw your ass back in jail. And I can stand here all night. <laughs> There's always the back door. I got your car keys. You think I need a fucking car to kill this clown? Ma'am, come on. Ma you can't do this. Ma'am, please, please. Don't do this. I'm begging you. Baby, come on. Please. Baby. Jay needs you. I need you. I don't want you to go back to jail. Okay. It's all taken care of, Lim. Just don't go out there. Please. It's all taken care of. Okay. 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 I love you. The police are gonna handle it. No, 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 no. I didn't no, lie. No, I swear to God, baby. I was gonna tell you. It just wasn't any time. Just calm it's down, okay. okay? It's okay. Come on. Let's go get some water, okay? Please. 
Hi, son. Twice in one week. <laughs> Is Terry here? Uh, nope. Oh. She stayed at Burr's last night. Oh, well, I guess it's just breakfast for two, then. Oh. Have a seat. You want some coffee? Please. You know, that uh, fiance of yours sure has a lot of fire in her belly. Ha! Don't have to tell me that. We had breakfast together the other day. So I heard. There you go. Thanks. I've been thinking about what she said. Maybe it wouldn't hurt for you to talk to somebody about your problem. There's no problem. Maybe not. But you and I both know that's exactly the thing that your mother used to say. And I don't want either one of us to go through that pain again. That's why I haven't made any speeches, because maybe you've heard too many of those already. Morning. Hey. You can relax. There's no problem. Okay. Hey. hey. To what do we owe this early morning visit? I've been giving my son some grief. It's a little early for grief, isn't it? Too early. <laughs> and you can both get off my back. I have my first AA meeting. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it wasn't that bad. It wasn't? No. I made a few friends already. I even found a sponsor that I like. That's great, son. That's amazing. I told you I was going to go. You did. Oh, so you got to tell me everything. <laughs> <laughs> Blueberry muffin for my future daughter-in-law. <laughs> thank you, Walter, very much. Oh, thank you. Uh, so you, you gotta tell me everything. Coffee, you want some coffee? Yes. Uh, you gotta, did you have to introduce yourself? Like, hi. Wait, you want I... some milk or you want some sugar? Both? What? Do you know what this is all about? I don't. Huh. Morning, Mom. Dad. Morning, baby. Morning, son. Um, well, in light of recent stuff, I think it would be good if we came up with a new house rule. Of course. Oh, well, well, what were you thinking of, son? Oh, well, you guys have always said that what goes on between the two of you is grown folks' business. And I respect that. We know you do, honey, and that's why uh, I want... Maxine. Let the boy finish. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, baby. Go on. I think it would be a good idea if you guys kept your business in your bedroom with the door closed and locked. That, that sounds fair. Y yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Are you sure you're OK? Yeah, if this is the last time we ever have to talk about this, I'm cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and in case you guys forget to close and lock your door, Yeah. <laughs> you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Are you okay? Yeah, no doubt.
Did you forget something? Uh-huh. I forgot to get my loving. Don't run from me, mouth. Get the fuck out! Where's my knife? Oh, God, help me, please! <laughs> you think I ain't see your bitch ass sitting down the street this morning? Now, I'm the big cat, motherfucker! Tracy, will you tell him about us? Adams. Let me go, baby. I'm okay. I'm okay. 